All right, folks, welcome back to another Budget Jam or Budget Bust. Today I have another audio pipe. So I today have what has been requested for a while, the audio pipe APCLE-1801D. It uh, um, this is the top that you get outside of the 3000 watt um, uh, AP, APCLE 3002 or whatever model that one is called. Um, this is the next highest up in that line. This is um, compatible with 16 volts according to the box. Rated at 1800 watts by one at one ohm. And supposedly they can handle a half ohm dynamically. So we're going to find all that out here today. Um, yeah, audio pipe, you might be saying, why am I going back to audio pipe? Well, beyond the fact it was requested, I need to see, can they redeem themselves? Uh, because the last time I had one on here with the APCLE 204, it didn't do so well. It, uh, it died on the dyno. So, which was a surprise because I was riding high on audio pipe after the APMI 2000 test, where that thing did awesome. So, do we have a redeemer here? Can we forget about the four channel model and just focus in on the mono blocks? And uh, I really do need audio pipe to redeem themselves because I got like, beyond this one, I have two more audio pipes here that I need to get through testing. Uh, they'll be probably a month or two before you see some of them, but I still have some I need to test. So we're gonna unbox this amplifier. We are gonna amp dyno it and we're gonna find out just exactly what this $180 amplifier gives us. So, let's dive right on in. Okay, opening her up. Uh, first thing we got, we have our audio pipe owner's manual. Let's see if we can get the ratings out of this. No ratings on the box, so sorry about that. Come on, there we go. And the amp is rated at, come on, there we go. I don't know if you can see that there or not, but it's at 4 ohms, 750 watts. Uh, 2 ohms here, we have uh, 1150, and 1 ohm, 1800 watts. So, should be a pretty good amp here if it does what it's rated at. Not much money for these, these are about 180 bucks. Uh, you got your remote base cable and your remote base knob. It's kind of just like some of those audio pipes uh, that I've tested in the past. It's got that mesh finish on the top. Uh, this one's got a silver top to it. And that really nice potentiometer. So pretty good. Uh, this looks like the fuse holder that I heard comes with these. Ooh, this is a nice fuse holder. Uh, this one will definitely accept uh, zero gauge, which the one on the Atme 2000 didn't. That one's more like a four gauge, which is surprising because that one's rated to put out more watts. So uh, very nice fuse. This is this is probably if you were trying to buy one of these, this is at least 10, 15 bucks uh, on Amazon. And of course, <coughs> the amp itself. Dun, 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 dun. So not bad. It's got a similar look to it of that APCLE 204 that we tested a few weeks ago that caught fire, <laughs> or at least uh, blew up, I should say. Uh, so hopefully this one doesn't. Um, let's check out the sides. Along this side of the amplifier, we find our power terminals and our speaker output terminals. Uh, they didn't really skimp on these terminals. I gotta give credit to Audio Pipe here. Uh, these are true one out gauge uh, power and ground terminals. You can see here, this is the Toolmaker's one out reducer. Fits in no problem whatsoever. And these speaker terminals are, uh, they're four gauge. So here's a one out to four gauge reducer. No problem fitting in there at all. So this is pretty good because you're gonna need um, power wiring that can handle that current that's gonna be coming through. And the same thing on the output. Uh, 2,000 watts RMS or 1,800 watts RMS, uh, whatever this one's rated at, 
uh, you're gonna want at least an eight gauge wire and this one can accommodate it no problem. And probably even two runs of eight gauge directly. Along this side of the amplifier, you have the RCA terminals and pretty much all the settings that you really need for a, a monoblock subwoofer amplifier. You can see here, these are nice Tiffany style RCA connectors over here. Here's your inputs. And these are your uh, master slave outputs. So when you do want to strap two of these together, yes, this amp is strappable. Uh, if this one is going to be the master, you would use this RCA output. And if this one is going to be the slave amp, it would go right here into this RCA input. So pretty nice job there. Of course, here is for your remote bass knob. That's your connection. It's one of those 3.5 millimeter plugs instead of the RJ11 type connectors. So, you know, be careful when uh, putting this one in a place where it's not going to put stress on the line and pop out. Power and protect lights over here. Power light is blue. Protect is, of course, red. Your gain over here. Uh, one thing I will mention, uh, I, I film these videos in a non-linear method, so I've already set this amp up prior to filming, and it is very sensitive to gain on a 4 volt and up deck. So I barely have the gain set up, and I was already maxed. So just realize if you're coming in, you've got a high voltage output for a deck, uh, you're definitely going to want to keep the gain really, really low. So it does not like going up higher than this. Uh, you have here your low-pass filter, adjustable from 180 hertz down to 40 hertz. Your subsonic filter, which is from off to 50 hertz. You can adjust the bass boost frequency from 30 to 80 hertz, and of course, 0 to 12 dB. Again, I say please leave bass boost off unless you really, really love to clip your signal. All right, nothing left to do here but to uh, strap up the... APCLE 1800-1D up to the amp dyno and uh, see how much power she produces. Is she underrated? Is she overrated? Is she like the Atme and accurately rated? Uh, we're gonna find out here very shortly. I'll see you after the test.
Okay, th final thoughts here on the AudioPipe APCLE-1801D. Um, yeah, I think we found another budget gem here, folks. I mean, this is, again, roughly a $180 amplifier, and it was very accurately rated. I mean, I know my certified number came under the 1800 watts, but I also was under the 14.4 volts that this one's rated at. Had I achieved 14.4, I've already done the math, this would definitely hit the 1800 number. So, good job there. It, uh, we got over 2000 watts at, uh, on one ohm dynamic, pretty close to 2000 watts, if not a little over. I have to look at the numbers just to double check. But I think we got right around 2000 watts one ohm uncertified uh at least on at least on two of the three tests all the way across the board we hit the number uh two two ohms we hit all three of the numbers it did over 1150 watts uh certified two ohms tad under on the certified on four ohms but close enough very very nice job by audio pipe on the amplifier and let's not forget you guys keep asking me to do 0.5 dynamic i'm not comfortable unless it's really been done before, and Big D did do an APCL, APCL 1500.1D uh, at 0.5. So I said, you know what? Wasn't a lot of money on this amplifier. Let's give it a shot at 0.5, and it delivered almost 3,000 watts at under 14 volts at 0.5. Uh, it, did, it did suck up some current, though, to get there, so I don't recommend that, but it could do it. The amp stayed cool the whole time on the test bench, so there wasn't any heat issues. I did roughly 20 test runs all back to back, um, and resistive load is pretty tough on the amp, so nice job to audio pipe there. Um, so this brings me to the final question. Which one would I recommend? This one or the APMI 2000? Now the APMI 2000 does put out more power, and it is less money. So if those are your only two criteria, go with the APMI 2000. It's still a better cost per watt amplifier than this one. Um, if you want a little bit better efficiency, if you're thinking of running at a lower impedance, and I do think this one has got more ability to um, take heat off the uh, heat sink, uh, so thermally i think these will be a little bit better um in that case you know for me it's a toss-up i probably would still go for the lowest cost per watt i don't know um but you folks out there if you're considering an audio pipe you have a decision so again finally another budget gem thank you audio pipe for rating your amplifier accurately that's all for me, folks. I got more amps to test. I'll see you next time.